Hi everyone, welcome to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I have come up with the tunic top, which is having plaid layers in designing. Recently, I am getting more requests to show the western wear, so I thought of doing this. This is very simple and easy to do. Let's get started. The fabric which is used in the pick is Georget without lining. For a little change, I would be using the satin cloth along with the georget for the layered flare. As the fabric in the pick is skinning, I don't want to go for that. So I am using the satin fabric as the base and on the top, I will be using the georget. For this type of tops, you should go for the falling fabrics like georget, chiffon, crepe. The layers on the top will give the flawless look, so you should go for the following fabric. Now fold the fabric into 4 towards the wrong side. Start marking and the full length of this tunic top I would be taking is 23 inches. Start marking from the center fold. Mark the neckline. The measurements have clearly mentioned on the chart. Please have a look. Mark the neck width and the neck deep. The neck width I am marking is 3 inches. And the shoulder length is 4 and half inches. Mark the shoulder slope 1 inch down. Connect that from neckline to shoulder line. As the fabrics are used is slippery, I suggest you to use the pins when you are marking so that you will get the perfect shapes I'm going for the U shape you can mark any shape as you like mark the armhole length 6 and half inches from the shoulder slope and mark the chest line that is nine and half inches plus add one and half inches for the extra seaming elements. If you are not comfortable marking on this fabrics, I would suggest you to mark on the chart then lay on this, mark the outlines and cut. See I would be marking the front and back armholes. Then mark the waist measurements 8 and half inches plus extra seaming elements and mark the hip measurements 11 inches plus one more inch extra for the seaming. Start trimming on the marked lines. Cut the armhole and shoulder line separate the front and back panels then trim the neckline separately make the notches near the neckline Now separate the front and back panels. And back. 
cut the neck tip of 1 inch Now cut the front neck on the marked lines and also little deep near the armhole of the front panel. Leave quarter inch for the seaming and cut. See this is how it looks. Now I am ready with the base of the tunic top. Now I will show you how to cut the plate layered top on this base. For that I would be using the georgette as I am marking this for the front panel. So I am folding it into two. Firstly make a square then fold it diagonally and place the base fabric on this and mark the neckline armhole till your waist length. Secure it with the pins. Again from the waist mark diagonally towards the center fold. and start trim on this marked lines if you want to have more filletedness then you should extend that diagonal line by 2-3 inches towards the sides and then connect as it is the sides to armhole and the neckline now cut sides armhole shoulder line and neckline this would be the back panel and also the front panel with the flayed layer now I join the georgette with the satin laying right on right and join the sides of the armhole and the neckline that means I am sewing on the right side of the georgette on the top of the front panel
do the zigzag towards the bottom of the georgette fabric or overlock the bottom of the georgette You can also use the wire for doing the zigzag stitch. Now I'll be joining the Two inches cross strip towards the neckline. Lay right on right, folding the cross strip, and start sewing. Sew it little by little, folding the cross strip. Do not stretch the underneath fabric when you are sewing. Just run it friendly. Trim the extra left fabric just adjacent towards the thread line. Now turn the folded strip towards the wrong side and do the top stitch. You can also hem using the hand stitch. See fold it little by little. Do not stretch near the curved areas. Follow the same instructions for the back neckline and also the armholes if you are going for the sleeveless or else you can join the sleeves.
Align the front and back panels and join the shoulder lines leaving quarter inch for the seaming. Lock it and start sewing. Now hem the base fabric that means satin folding half inch towards the wrong side and start sewing. Hem both front and back panels. Now join the sides of the bodies, aligning both front and back panels, turn towards the wrong side and sew it. Now I am almost ready with the tunic top for the final finishing I join the bow for preparing the bow I'd be taking 4 inches by 3 inches and towards the corners cut curvely and turn towards the wrong side so towards all the corners leaving one inch gap Now turn inside out and conceal the gap. Now hand stitch this bow in the center joining towards the neckline and on the top I'll be joining with the stone line. Now I'd be sticking the stone line in the center of this bow. Let it dry for some time. I'm done with this beautiful tunic top. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please try it. See the finishing in the neatness will give the rich look. Following simple instructions and tips, you can create your own designer garments. 
catch you guys with another interesting video stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions do not forget to subscribe share like and leave your comments thanks for watching bye for now